I graduated from St. John's and my senior year in high school I was making pizzas and for a place that I worked at when I started when I was 12 and I, my senior year in high school I made more money making pizzas than my economics teacher did teaching me economics. So I, I, I kind of realized that at that point I, I, I kind of knew where I wanted to go. And everybody said to me, you got to go to college or you're not going to make it. So I went to, I went to Quinsig, worked out very well. I, I was a, obviously a commuter. Um, I worked my schedule around so I could get a diploma. I finished in three semesters, which I thought was pretty good. It helped me focus as to where I was going, what I wanted to do. I was, I was pretty highly motivated, you know, to, to go in business and the business management courses were terrific. Um, the accounting had helped, obviously. Um, I had some professors that really took care of us and, you know, taught us and that's, that made a big difference. Taught me discipline, you know, between high school and college. I think one, that's one of my major attributes is that I have discipline and I'm, nothing's going to get in my way. I'm going to make it happen. Quinsig has grown quite a bit. We do quite a bit of work up there now and it's, it's amazing how many more buildings are there now than in the old days. <laughs> One of our best customers originally when we started was Spags. And we did a ton of work for Spags. And Spags said, you have to give back to the community. You have to take care of your employees. That resonates so loudly now, it's unbelievable. We have way more employees than I ever dreamed we could have. And we give back to the community. People are asking for donations all the time. We do as much as we can to help the community. Um, we're thrilled to be able to be a part of it. Future Collegiate Baseball League, which the Bravehearts is in, approached John and said, we're looking to put a team in Worcester. This venue would be perfect. You would be the perfect fit. You're well established in Worcester. It took my son a year and a half and working extremely hard to put it together. The crowds are coming back. We had an outing for all the players when they first came in with the host families. All of a sudden there was a kid in a wheelchair right by the uh, bullpen in left field. Uh, and I looked down and there was 10 ball players huddled around this kid in the wheelchair and I'm like, that's what it's supposed to be. I remember when my kids were little, anybody made a difference like that, it's well worth it. It goes a long way. I've always been one of these, let actions speak louder than words. I've never been one to grab the limelight and be out in front. I'm thrilled to be asked to be a guardian for the Quinsig, and now I'm realizing that I have something to offer the, that I can pass on to somebody else.